please remember to leave a like, a comment, share the video about, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome back to a Megon 2 Electric Boogaloo. Ooh, yes. Today we're going to be responding to a video tweeted out by LGB who had said trans AGP clown face emoji. The cool thing about lesbians is gender doesn't really matter unless you are a cis man. End quote on that. Remember how we all had to struggle with the LGB? Look how ecstatic he is to tell you he's lesbian. Before anyone gets really offended by the fact I read that tweet verbatim, I was reading it verbatim. Alright? The opinions of the LGB Twitter account, X account, whatever you want to call them, account, are not reflective of Omegons. Don't be so bloody sensitive. This was retweeted by Ranting Monkey who had said, It saddens me that people like this are taken seriously. What part of they don't like dick confuses you? I have a feeling this video might confuse everyone. And I doubt by watching this video will any of our confusion find its way to clarity. So let's just dive right in and see if we can make any sense of what this individual has to say. How does my trans identity align with me being a lesbian? Based on the fact you've posted this to social media, TikTok obviously, one can quite easily infer, imply, assert, correctly I have no doubt, that this is actually a very important part of your identity. You've posted it to social media. No doubt you've done this because you want the attention that it brings you. There is no such thing as negative attention until you receive it, in which case, oh my god, batten down the hatches. Someone please get help. Now being a lesbian is much like being trans at the core of my identity. Well imagine my shock. It is a big part of who I am and how I identify and intertwine so much with my beliefs, morals, and like how I live my life. This is something I can fully understand because it is to you a belief system, not just a way of life, which in turn means you are treating it a bit like a faith or perhaps a cult depending on interpretation. I've often found that those who have so much free time on their hands that they can explore this are typically unemployed. If you'd like a job, I have an option for you. You won't like it. It involves the following sentence. Would you like fries with that? And being a lesbian has so many positives for me. There's also a lot of negatives that come with being a trans person who identifies as a lesbian. There are a lot of TERFs in the community. I was waiting for you to get to the negative part. And then you immediately fobbed off those who are lesbian and trans-exclusionary as if they are also radical feminist or trans-exclusionary radical feminist. Just the thing here, because it's another one of these thought-terminating cliches at this point. This particular buzzword term will not change that many cis lesbians are not going to want to spend time with, intimately, or long-term in a romantic relationship with an individual that possesses a phallus, regardless of size or how much effort that person has made to make changes to their body to be more appealing to those who are cisgendered lesbians. I should also point out there are going to be some who are trans who themselves will not want to be with another individual who is trans. This is not a surprise or fresh information. So can it be really regarded as a negative that you, a trans woman, would want to be a part of the lesbian community when many lesbians will not find you attractive because of a personal choice or biology. See what I did there? Covered both bases. Um, you might find that if you go to a lesbian bar, maybe some of the older lesbians are staring at you or, you know, there's a lot of turfs around. An older lesbian looking at you is not, because they're looking at you, a turf. That should be stated as a disclaimer. That is an assumption and the assumption is quite poor. Also, all the lesbians look down on a lot of those now from the more recent generations who obsess over their gender identity and sexuality because they spent decades fighting for the very rights you claim you still don't have. And many of them got beaten up, horrendously beaten up. And some still do in other countries in this world, fighting for those rights that they are denied, while you talk about how this is such an important part of your identity, something that they did not get to do when they were young. That does not mean they are a turf. But generally, generally, 
lesbian love is supposed to be very, very inclusive, and pretty much the only rule about lesbian love is that it does not include cis men. That is your interpretation of what it means to be a lesbian, because that is what it is to you. Many others will disagree with that. You are not a hive mind, no matter how much you try, many do in fact try, to force that down the throats of others who are older and again look down on you because either you interpret it as gatekeeping or toughness. So, a common misconception about lesbians is that it's just woman on woman. But you can also be non-binary and be a lesbian. And like I said, you can also be transmasculine and be a lesbian. Typically, a lesbian is defined as a homosexual woman or girl. The word is also used for women in relation to their sexual identity or sexual behavior, regardless of sexual orientation, or as an adjective to characterize or associate nouns with female homosexuality or same-sex attraction. Basically, it has for the most part always been known as that of someone who is biologically female being attracted to another biological female, okay? This is quite normal. Obviously, as time has gone by, there are many of those who identify as trans who are still attracted to women, whether that be someone who's male to female, and they then identify as a trans woman and lesbian. Bear in mind here that is gender identity and sexuality. You can argue when someone is male to female, they can identify as lesbian. The same can be said for someone who has gone from being female to male and still being attracted to women. It's still possible for that person to identify as lesbian if they choose to, because they still possess the biological part within the definition to argue that they are in fact still able to identify as a lesbian if they so choose to. When you start inserting different gender expressions, the water gets muddied and the definitions lose their meaning. So what lesbian means to you devolves back to the old joke of a man identifying as a lesbian because he'll shag any woman. With consent, of course. That is how many older people look down on this. It still does not make them a turf. Being a lesbian is something I've only been able to explore recently. And it's something I've only been in, able to explore in one of my several relationships. One of your seven relationships, several, sorry, recently or at the same time? Because I have a few questions, if it's the former. I have one word, if it's the latter. Um, my most recent one. And let me tell you, the way that a relationship dynamic is compared to a, like, heterosexual straight couple relationship dynamic, lesbian relationships are just so special. I see we're still in the honeymoon phase. The phase where everything is amaze balls and nothing can come close to the experience you now get from the relationship you are in, and it just so happens to be to you a relationship that is lesbianim by nature. That's fine. Um, this blind spot will pass in time once the novelty wears off for you. And it is a novelty because you'll often find relationships, regardless of sexuality, are remarkably similar. They really are. You just think they're special right now because it is something very new and different to you. Yes, that doesn't mean lesbian relationships are on a pedestal above other relationships. Those straight people, oh god, they're idiots. They all need to get in on this action. So good. I swear to god, there's nothing like it. I've been in um, straight relationships and... Uh... It's not the same. The love isn't the same. For you, this is very important, it is not the same for you. It will not be the same experience for anyone else, because you're totally unique and individual. Was the sarcasm sign required for that, or did you all get it? Now, while you're still in the honeymoon phase, you're now going to continue speaking on this pedestal about how amazing this is, and nothing can come close to this kind of love. Reality is, it's more than likely a type of love you've never experienced in any other relationship that many of us have experienced in relationships because they married the partner they're with because of it. I say many, not all. Some do for convenience sake, like getting someone pregnant. The way you treat each other isn't the same. The expectations. There's just so much different emotions and... This is remarkably pretentious. I do hope you, the person that produced this video, understand that this can be considered crappy bait because it's definitely bait, and or a really pretentious way of saying, look at me, I'm in the most amazing relationship right now, none of you can understand this. Not even the older lesbians, because they'll never get this kind of love. This is unique and true. The more I hear what you say, 
the more you sound to me like Chris Chan. I don't know how to even explain the differences between a real loving lesbian relationship and a straight cis relationship. Yet you produced a video many minutes long in which you just espouse the idea and assert that this type is better than all but do not explain how it is better than all. I see we've lost critical thought. That's interesting. I was going to humour this by seeing what you described and seeing how it stacked up to other types of relationships. But it turns out you're just as bad as Chris Chan without the mother diddling. Cool thing about lesbians is gender doesn't really matter unless you're a cis man, which is cool with me. But gender doesn't really matter. If you're trans, if you're... Um, non-binary, if you're a cis woman, if you're whatever, it doesn't matter. So then the point of being a lesbian also doesn't matter, does it? All words have meaning. All words have definition. What you have just then described and ended your video with is in effect a redefinition of what the word lesbian means to suit your belief. But your belief means that the word lesbian is redundant at that point. So what is the point of anything when people are so desperate to have identity when you simultaneously tear at the word's meaning so that the identity and the definition no longer coalesce, align, are in alignment, which then means you're trying to be unique and individual, but simultaneously you just want the words that sound cool to be associated with who you are, as opposed to what the words really mean. It's like a child who hears something cool in school and they say that word 20 times over thinking it still sounds cool. It really doesn't. 